I would like to talk to you about something that's very important to me that's going to help you become healthy after whatever weight loss surgery you choose to have with me. As you've heard me say, the surgeries make good nutrition and exercise be more effective for you. That's really important and you're going to receive that in my nutrition manual. All of my patients get the Dr. Dirk nutrition manual that I subsequently call the Gospel According to Dr. Dirk. But what's really important is that it simplifies nutrition and exercise. In the United States, a lot of experts out there have made nutrition very complicated. And I'm here to tell you, it's not complicated. It's very easy. The way we were designed, if we practice good nutrition, we can become healthy. When you practice good nutrition after surgery, you're going to become a healthy person. You get to lose all those medical conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, acid reflux, sleep apnea. Oh yeah, and you get to lose a ton of weight as well too. Good nutrition does not mean grass and cardboard. You do not have to travel to some strange tropical rainforest to find some monkey who poops a berry out of his butt to lose weight. You don't have to do that. But granted, it's food from your grocery store. You need to understand, fast food goes away, junk food goes away, vending machine goes away. If you think eating cookie dough or chips or potato chips or ice cream by the gallon is part of a healthy nutrition program, we're not going to get along. But you do get to enjoy food. My nutrition program talks about high protein, low carb. High protein is clearly explained in the nutrition program. It's things like meat, chicken, beef, roast beef, pork, ham, different types of seafood, fish, catfish, tilapia, shrimp, crab, lobster, different types of cheeses, cottage cheese, yogurt, different types of beans and legumes, different types of nuts, things that most of us carnivores enjoy anyway and that are easily available to you at your grocery store. So you don't have to be making strange trips to different places. You don't have to find a specialty store or a specialty website. It's right there probably a couple of blocks down the street from your house. That's very important. All of my patients who are successful with surgery eat very small portions every day. A quarter of a cup is going to look like a Thanksgiving dinner. A lot of my patients tell me that two, three, four bites of food is all they need to eat to get full and then they're done. My patients eat six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. Isn't that kind of strange? Your weight loss surgeon is telling you that you're going to eat all day long. Your full-time job is going to be eat. And some people say, hey, that's really cool. Everybody else will complain about it, but you get to say, yeah, sorry about your luck. You know, I get to eat. Another thing that's very important, and our science has shown this, is exercise. Remember I told you it's surgery, nutrition, and exercise. And yes, I'm sorry, you were hoping the weight loss surgery was going to do everything. I'm here to tell you that's not the case. You're going to have to do daily aerobic exercise. You're going to start slow. Standard rule of thumb applies. Your standard doctor cliche is out there. If it hurts, don't do it. I don't want you to hurt yourself when you're doing your exercise. Start slow and build your way on up. What I tell all of my patients is that eventually they're going to get to a point where they're doing aerobic or cardio exercise every day and slowly but surely they're going to work themselves on up to 60 continuous minutes a day. I'm okay if you start slow. I'm okay if you break it up, if you do some in the morning and you do some in the afternoon. But eventually, four, five, six, seven, eight months down the road, you're going to get yourself to a point where you're doing 60 continuous minutes of aerobic or cardio exercise. A lot of people ask me about weight and resistance training and yoga and Pilates, and I go, yeah, that's okay, that's extra, that's gravy. You can do that to stay strong, to keep your muscles and your bones strong. And I like that because it forces your body to absorb the food and the nutrition that you're taking in. But first and foremost, when we talk about exercise, it's going to be cardio. It's going to be aerobic exercise, walking, treadmill, elliptical, stair climber, exercise bike, Zumba, Wii Fit, whatever you want. What you'll read in my nutrition program regarding exercise is I want you to get to a point where you're elevating your heart rate to higher than 100 beats per minute continuously for 60 minutes.